Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. Creating this video, Damien Epi. Hi everyone, so here we are on the profile of last week and I will review quickly all the trade. So we already see that on AudioSD we have a pin bar right here and this pin bar is a beautiful winning trade. Retracement entry triggered stop loss right here and made more than, than 6 reward. Now AudCAD didn't touch any level last week. AudCHF we have one touch, let's check. So AudCHF we have a railroad track, so retracement entry did trigger and this uh, tac, 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 16 May 28 so it's still running and it's a little uh, in profit right now by security I would place my stop loss to break even so there is no trade to count right here odd New Zealand nothing touch odd GPY same odd Singapore same your odd same GBP odd same so just for you to know I place stronger level so there is less touch but the win rate is a bit better so gold didn't touch, silver no, silver, euro same, Singapore, JPY no touch, CHF Singapore no touch, CHF JPY we have, so let's see what happened. So CHF JPY on Tuesday I guess made this pin bar, this one is a losing trade. Then it made another pin bar very near the level right here so we can count this one as a losing trade also. Then we have this pin bar very far away, but didn't touch the level, so there is no trade. Two losses right here. Cat GPY no trade, cat CHF very near the level, but didn't touch. No trade either. Okay, Euro USD no trade, Euro CAD same, Euro CHF. Okay, we have a losing trade. This one made a dodgy and the dodgy bro broke up, so this one is a losing trade. And after. This one is a doji, we have a doji here breaking up and this one is uh, still running near break near the stop loss. I will count two losses to make sure. Now Euro New Zealand no trade, Euro JPY. Euro JPY we have one pin bar, reverse one entry. This one stop loss would have been around here. Uh tac tac how many reward did it make? Twenty Actually, this one is break even, and after that, we have uh, this pin bar. This pin bar is a loss, and this one is a win. Euro Singapore didn't touch anything. Euro Hong Kong, same. Euro Nok, same. Euro Zar, very near the level but didn't touch. Euro Sec, same. Let's look at GBP. So, GBP USD, no trade. GBP CHF, no trade. CAD same GPY uh, GPY we have a trade on like this one so this one was a hammer didn't break down doji didn't break down this one is a trade and let me show you what happened this is a winning trade actually we switch on the one hour chart our entry would have been right here and the stop loss would have been right here and it triggered after spiking up so this was a beautiful winning trade with 3 v one so one good trade on GBP GPY, GBP New Zealand no trade, GBP Singapore. I have taken this one and I have won this one and I will tell you why because we have a level but there is also a 800 EMA and it made the pin bar at the 800 EMA and this pin bar is a winning trade. I will not count it here but this was a good trade because there is a confluence between the EMA, a strong 800 EMA and the level. Euro GBP didn't touch, GBP try didn't touch, GBP sec same and GBP knock same. NZD USD didn't touch, NZD Kayat same, NZD CHF. Uh, we have a trade. We have a beautiful railroad track right here and it it touched the middle of it so this one is a winning beautiful trade. And in case you didn't enter the railroad track there is a pin bar right here so both way it's a winning trade. NZD GPY and the DGPY same pattern made this angle thing candle going up, retracement entry triggered, and this one is a winning trade. 
Knock GPY didn't touch, sex GPY didn't touch. Yep. So USD CAD no, USD GPY no, USD CHF no, USD Singapore no trade, USD ZAR. USD ZAR. We have a pin bar right here, middle retracement touch, and this one made, um, not sure, because you take the total length of the pin bar, so it's 50. 50. It made only two rewards, so it's a break even trade, so there is nothing to count. And there is one running right now. Second touch with a pin bar. USD Polonia, USD Polonia. So touch the level right here, and this one was a beautiful trade. So it's an extra big candle, so I would have entered only retracement and I would have taken two reward. But it's a winning trade, it touched the retracement entry and it made two reward. USD Danish Krona didn't touch, Xetch same, HUF same, Mexican Peso we have a losing trade. So this was during the weekend, but it made a railroad track on Monday, and the retracement entry touch stop loss right here. And oh, actually, it made three. Well, it's a winning trade on this one, taking the railroad track this week only. Now let's look at USDC and H. We have a beautiful pin bar right here. Might be stopped out, and there is a re-entry, and the re-entry is a winning trade going up. Re-entry, entry to stop right here. A retracement didn't touch, so we have only one. To two reward to take and this one is a good one so we have one trade winning with one reward so I will not count it and after we have this doji broken down with two reward and it's a beautiful winning trade I count this one only one so USD knock uh, didn't touch any level so we're good so the total account of this week we have seven eight winning trades with three reward which make it 24 reward profits and we have 6 losing trade with 1 risk so 24 minus 6, 18 reward profit 36% profit for the week I hope you took advantage of the profile and uh, see you next week we are already at the end of the video subscribe for updates please like and share this video if you found the content useful Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.